establishing the support group is not a matter of choice, but a matter of duty. Lockdown started, Pembrokeshire has been engulfed in a wave of kindness. With a surge in community spirit and action, existing community support groups have adapted their services and taken on new roles. While many communities have started up new groups very quickly, without funds, experience or any resources other than goodwill. Our statutory and voluntary agencies have worked tirelessly to meet the needs of our communities too. They've come together to form the Community Hub, a central point working alongside community groups to ensure the people who need support are getting it. The desire to help, the power of giving and receiving kindness and the benefits of connecting with others. Some of the many reasons to feel proud of our Pembrokeshire community. Pembrokeshire's kindness gives us hope for a bright future. Back in March, middle of March, we could see what was coming towards us in regard to COVID-19. Um, there was no cavalry going to be coming over the hills, so we would have to be uh, our own um, manufacturers of how we actually work together as a, as a community and as a village. It was in March when my doctor said, go home, stay home, don't see anybody. And the coronavirus was on its way, and so I came home, and I live on my own, I don't have a car, and I just thought, well, what am I going to do? You know, how am I going to manage? It is something which really touched me, was that the member that was with an LA shopping on her birthday turned up with balloons and a cake, almost 90, having that brought to them by a county LA. The young and the old have worked together in what has been such a difficult time for everybody. They couldn't believe that people who didn't even know them, youngsters, were willing to go out of their way to help them, to go beyond, above and beyond what they needed to do. But when COVID hit, it was a case of what can we do to help others? There's, there's people who've come up to us afterwards and said, you know, I didn't know what I would have done if it hadn't been for this movement that have come up and spent their time and given their time and, and, and come up with solutions in this area. To keep the volunteers safe and the people that they were um, serving um, kept us up to date, helped volunteers and spent many hours every day making sure that the scheme worked and, and did what it was designed to do, which was, was help the residents. And um, you basically provided an amazing service to the residents of our local area. Thank you. Um, created like little keep fit activities on the pavements at the golf course. She did an Easter egg trail. She did all these wonderful things to keep people socially distanced, but to still keep the kids engaged and, and you know, so that they weren't forgotten about. Um, she also threw herself into doing other activities like benches. She did a Halloween trail, um, and you name it. She's been doing raffles, raising money, absolutely everything to support the community and donate to needy causes. And she's like an incredibly valuable member of the community. It really keeps people in touch with each other now that people are feeling a bit isolated and worried and anxious, where they can go for volunteer help and who can deliver things and really, uh, I think, just keeps, it's really brought people together. Always a coronavirus sort of update, what's going on from Welsh Government and so on and what people can expect, and just to remind them of what's what's what. Um, who's got a surfeit of apples? Who's doing egg deliveries? If the local pub is providing meals, all those kind of local tidbits. Little technical details as well for lots of people who are isolated and maybe not quite so good with Zoom and with... Um, technical things or how they can get online and access things because I think they have a, an older community there that appreciates that kind of um, help. Sharing up our inboxes on a Monday and a Tuesday, um, making us go out and about and walk and find those berries and flowers, giving us a smile about what's going on, funny stories and so on. And generally just that feeling of community. They've gone out of their way to be part of their community and, and help people. Well, I think turning away from somebody who was extremely distressed.
Chris, and that's not normally my way of speaking, to somebody who is now very happy and certainly not worried anymore. Um, they just, well, they have. They, they just make me feel safe and, and happy.